Psalm 33. If you can stand in honor reading of the Word of God. If you can stand, please stand. I joke with people all over, all over for the bow web. There's nothing magical or mystical about standing for the Word of God and reading the Word of God. But I always like to say, when people ask me how the sermon went, I'll say this, I had them all on their feet. <laughs> <laughs> Psalm 33. All right. You have it, say amen. amen. Beginning of verse 16, it's the ESV. So the king is not saved by his great army. A warrior is not delivered by his great strength. The war horse is, listen, a false hope for salvation. And by its great might, it cannot rescue. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him. Amen. For those who hope in his steadfast love. Someone say hope. Hope. That he may deliver their soul from death and keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For our heart is glad in him because we trust in his holy name. Yes, All right. Let your steadfast love, O oh Lord, be upon us even as we hope in you. All right. You may be seated. In 1988, it was a season of transition. Political transition. And in 1988, in the Democratic National Convention in Atlanta, Georgia, the runner-up for the nominee, Reverend Jesse Lewis Jackson, All right. gave one of his most inspirational and motivational messages to the Democratic National Convention. All right. Jesse Lewis Jackson at that time wanted to use his power, his prestige, and his position to address some discouraged people. <laughs> He used his position and he used his platform to address the people at the Democratic National Convention in Atlanta, Georgia. All right. All right. And as he looked at that speech, it was so inspirational, it was so emotional, he encouraged people, he told them this, he says, those of you in this audience, I want to tell you that you can make it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He said, hold your head high. Yeah. He said, stick your chest out. Yeah. All right. You can make it. Right. He said, it's dark sometimes. All right. But the morning comes. Right. He said, suffering breeds character. Yeah. Character breeds faith. Right. And faith in the end does not disappoint. Right. He said, so you hold on. You hold out. All right. You must never surrender. Yeah. And then he ended his speech with these famous words. Keep hope a lot. So if you don't mind me, I want to borrow from that. I want to borrow from that title today and apply it to this text and encourage somebody that's in a discouraging situation. But just like Jesse Jackson said at that Democratic National Convention, I want to encourage you to keep hope a lot. I know we're in this season, in this Christmas season, uh -huh. we say joy to the world, the Lord has come, and we see joy all over the world, but the reality is we believe that there's joy in the world, but sometimes we fail to believe that there's joy even in our own life. Right. I can tell you, you can keep hope alive. I know we're in a situation with COVID and this pandemic, it seems like it's never going to go away. Right. The times seem like it's getting ready to go down. Another variant pops up. Yeah. And it discourages sometimes. Oh, it's discouraging sometimes, but I came to tell you in this season of your life, yeah. right. you can keep hope yeah. alive. Yeah. We live in a society where it seems like hope is decaying. All right. yeah. We have single folk that have lost hope yeah. because they say, I'm going into another year All right. without being mad. Right. And I ain't got even any prospects on the line. All right. I'm All discouraged right. and, I, and I've lost hope. And even married folk have lost hope. Somebody already talking about in 2022, I'm filing for divorce because I'm tired. I can't live like this anymore. And I feel like it's a hopeless situation. 
can to tell you hope is decaying, hope is sometimes dead, we got to be real, we got to understand that sometimes hope seems to be delayed. All right, yeah. all right. Yeah. Now we're living in a society where there's no hope, I understand. Mm -hmm. uh, you feel like uh, Morgan Freeman in Shawshank Redemption. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when Andy Dufresne came out of that solitary confinement, mm -hmm. uh -huh. talking about hope. Uh -huh. Yeah. And Morgan Freeman looks at us, let me tell you something, my friend. All right. Hope is a dangerous thing. All right. Hope will drive a man insane. Yeah, yeah. Hope doesn't work on the inside. All right. And I came to tell you, hope is not a dangerous thing. Hope is a delightful thing. All right. Hope is not a dangerous thing. I disagree with Morgan Freeman and Sharsha. Hope is not a dangerous thing. Hope is a delightful thing. Yeah. So I'm going to encourage somebody from this text. As we unpack this text today, I believe this text is tailored to teach us that no matter what we go through, we can keep hope alive. Can I just unpack this? Because there's more to this text than we slide. Well, how, Reverend Fuller, can I keep hope alive? Can I tell you how you can do it? Number one, watch this. You need to beware of false hope. How do I keep hope alive? Oh, yeah. Here's what I gotta do. I gotta beware yeah. of false hope. I, I'm making it up. It's right here in the text. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Verse 16 says, The king is not saved by his great army. All right. Y'all see that in the text? Uh -huh. Look what it says. A warrior is not delivered by his great strength. Mm -hmm. The war horse is a false hope All right. for salvation. Yeah. All right. If you're going to keep home alive, yeah. All right. you have to be aware yeah. of false hope. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of false hope do we have? Come on, well, first of all, we have false hope in people. Yes, we have. I came to say this. All right, I know people say they, they got your back. Yeah, yeah. I know people say that they down with you, yeah. but I came to tell you the reality is is that you cannot put all of your hope in people. Yeah. Yeah. I know they grow up with you. I know they're from the same neck of the woods. I know they say that they got with they down with you. Right. But, but I think the reality is people will let you down. People move on. People die. Relationships are broken. Yeah. And if you put your faith in people, people will let you down. Beware yes, sir. of false hope. Yes, sir. All right. The reality is people die. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. You put a lot of faith in grandma. Huh. Mm -hmm. But grandma ain't always be here. Yeah. 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 You put all your faith in daddy. Uh -huh. But soon, Dad's gonna hear the stated march of the chariot. Uh -huh. yes, 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 yes. right. You put faith in Mama, but sooner or later, Mama's gonna be gone. Uh -huh. You put faith yeah. in religious people. You put faith in church folks. Sometimes they're gonna be gone all day. They're gonna move on. But I came to tell you today: you can't put false. You can't put all your hope in people. Beware. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. A false hope. Yeah. A yeah. king huh. is not delivered. In the text, by the army, wait a minute. Yes. <laughs> Not only you have to beware of false hope in the people. All right. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, you got to beware of false hope in your possessions. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Ooh. You know what he's saying? He's saying yes, yeah. things you possess, yeah. and a lot of times you hope in that stuff. Come on, man. You hoard, you gather, and you live based upon your possessions. Yes. Yeah. You have a nice car, but cars break down. Yeah. 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 Yes, you have a nice home, but they're foreclosing on your car. Yes, yeah. you have these things. But the reality is, if you put your hope in your possession, Come you'll on, be yeah. disappointed. Yeah. 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 Jesus tells a story about a man mm. uh, that built bigger barns. Right. When his crops came in, yeah. he said, what are you going to do that you had a bountiful crop? He said, what are you going to do? I know what I'll do. Uh -huh. He said, I'll build bigger barns. Yes. Yeah. I'll tear down the ones I have and I'll build bigger barns and that where, that's a place I can store up my possessions right. and I'll eat, drink, and be merry. Right. 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 Well, Bible says, thou fool, yeah. thy soul yeah. is required to reach this day. Who shall right. these things be? Beware yeah. of false hope in your 
no possession. Yeah. You're going to keep hope alive. Yeah. You got to be aware yeah. of false hope yeah. All right. in people. All right. You got to be aware of false hope in possession. Yeah. You got to be aware of false hope in your own plan. Nothing wrong with planning. Yeah. 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 You are the plan. Yeah. Yeah. But here's what you need to do. You need to get your plan from God. Yes, right. And make sure your plan, your agenda, yeah. lines up with his agenda. Yes. God doesn't have to sign off on your plan. Yeah. God doesn't have to sign off on your agenda. Yeah. So what you need to do is get your agenda for him and Jesus will sign off on that agenda. Because plans fail. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Plans are not in accordance with God sometimes. All right, now. Anybody have plans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 18 years old, I see like I had all my plans now. Yeah. I was going to be one of the first blacks to graduate at a young age at Southwestern Baptist Theological all right, Center. All right, all right. At 30 years old. Yeah. I didn't get it until I was 51. <laughs> had all my plans later. All right. I was gonna have to be married, have all these kids run around, but I got a divorce. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. My plan yeah. shifted. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't get to complete school till 20 something years later. All right. That was my plan. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But God had a different plan. Yeah. Yeah. And I came to tell you today, beware of false hope in your plan. All right. Don't write your plan and give it to God. You get God's plan and He'll give it to you. Yeah. Yeah. And that Tell you something. He says this in the text. He said, not only do I need to be aware if I'm going to keep hope alive, uh -huh. I need to be aware of false hope. That's why I love him. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know the hymn that we used to sing? All right, man. The hold to his hand. Yeah. God's unchanging yeah. hand. Come on, man. Hold to his hand. Yes, yeah. sir. God's unchanging hand. Who is it? Build your hope All right, yeah. on things eternal. Yeah. Yeah. See, the reason possessions is not good for hope because they're temporary. Yeah. The reason plans are not good for hope is because they're temporary. Yeah. The reason possessions are not put your hope in because they're temporary. Yeah. I would encourage you to build your hope yeah. on right. things eternal. Yes, yes, hope. Yeah. Yes, sir. To God's unchanging. Yeah. All right. All right. I ain't going to hold you too long, but I know you want to watch a cowboy. <laughs> Yeah. Let me give you the bird's eye view. Yeah. 
In other words, I'm looking at it from a whole new perspective. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The bird's eye view. We look at, we use eyes as metaphors all the time. Yeah, yeah. When sometimes I, my dad would send me to look for something, and they'd be right in front of me, and I said, Dad, I can't see it. My dad would say, open your eyes. <laughs> in other words, you're not paying uh -huh. good enough attention. Yeah, yeah. We, we use eyes for the world all the time. Yeah. Somebody say, man, I got my eye on you. Y'all right. yeah, heard that before. Because right. we use eyes as metaphors yeah. all the time. Yeah. Sometimes I'd be, when the teacher would be on the board, when they had a blackboard back in the day, yeah. she'd be writing something, me and my friends would be acting up, and then all of a sudden that eraser would come and throw it at me. Here's what she'd say, baby, I got eyes in the back of my head. Because we use eyes as metaphors yeah. 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 all the time. Someone said, man, you got an ego. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In other words, that you could see things other people can't see. Yeah. Yeah. I was amazed to find out, brother, yeah. but what that an eye window. We all brag about, baby, I got 20-20 vision. Yeah. 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 But a bird doesn't have 20-20 vision. Uh -huh. A eagle has 25, 20 five feet. Uh -huh. All right. In other words, what we can see at five feet, the eagle can see at 20 feet. Yeah. 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 In other words, he can be more attentive. The eagle eye is, watch this, is binocular. Uh -huh. And it's monocular. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 In other words, you don't have a half pair of binoculars. Yeah. That's two by me and two binocular being in sight. Yeah. C yeah. is binocular two eye. But, but watch this, the eagle is not only binocular, uh -huh. it's binocular. In other words, an eagle can you, you use both eyes at the same time. All right. Or eyes independent of yeah. <laughs> Look what he said. He said, in other words, an yeah. uh, eagle can look this way and that way at the same time. Yeah. Look, the eye of the Lord, can I tell you? The eye of the Lord, watch this, he has a bird's eye view. Yeah. He sees things that you can't see. He yeah. sees it from a different perspective. Yeah. He has a bird's eye view. And you know what? I like the text because it says, his eye is on me. I got yeah. my eye. Yeah. You know what else he has? He says he got eyes in the back of his head. Y'all got quiet on me on that. In other words, he sees what you're doing even if you don't think he does. But you know what? He got an eagle eye. Which he can see both ways at the same time. He's omniscient. His eye is on you. Now remember, that sounds good. That's theological. Yeah, yeah. That's impressive. Uh -huh. But here's the thing. If his eye is on me, mm. All right. how come he ain't doing nothing? <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> if he got Eli yeah. and see all the details under my new details of my life, why is he allowing me to go through this? All right. uh -huh. If he got a bird's eye view, man, you say. <laughs> Is he all that stuff? He said, how can we not do nothing about my situation? All right. All right. All right. Can I just go ahead and share with you? Go ahead. Go ahead. Sometimes mm -hmm. what God wants you to do mm -hmm. is stop relying on your own self. Mm -hmm. All right. I know how we are in America. All right. Talking about a declaration of independence. Yeah. <laughs> How we broke free from the king. Yes. Yeah. And we brought that into our own spiritual life. Yeah. Right. And what we declare before God yeah. mm -hmm. is a declaration of independence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't need you, God. We're practical atheists. Uh -huh. We say that there's God out there, but we don't depend upon him. Mm -hmm. You know what? God will allow some things to happen in your life. Where you can't do nothing. But depend upon you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're struggling, yeah. you're fighting, yeah. and God is waiting there yeah, yeah, to help you out. Yeah. But He's waiting yeah. for you to stop struggling. Yeah. I use this illustration all the time. Yeah. Right. Watch when he tell the story. Yeah. Watch when he was an unusual Chinese Christian. Watch when he tell the story that he went swimming one time, him and his friends, uh -huh. in his favorite swimming hole. Yeah. 
He said when they went swimming, there were some people that weren't with him afterwards. Some could swim. All right. They were good swimmers. Yeah. So some people couldn't swim at all. He said they were swimming in the old swimming pool. He said the one swimmer that wasn't swimming very well, he was about to drown. Yeah. Yeah. And he was he was struggling with the water. He was fighting the water, trying to stay afloat. And watch when he said, the one good swimmer we had was perched on top of a rock. Well, Watching everything that happened. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Watch said, I began okay. to have hatred in my heart toward this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because while our own brother is struggling in the water, he's sitting there doing nothing. Yeah. 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 said, when the boy went over for the last night, he said, that, sw that swimmer jumped off the rock, yeah. dived into the water, got the boy, and pulled him to safety. So when they got him to safety, they asked the man, why did you wait so long? You can do it. You don't understand. That if I would have jumped down there while he's struggling, he would have drowned both of us. I had to wait till he stopped struggling. So I could say, come here, let me talk to somebody. Believe in God is not intervening, but that he cannot intervene. Why is he not like God is sitting on top of a rock, watching everything is going? He's waiting on you to stop struggling. He's waiting on you to stop fighting. And he's waiting on you to like end your problem with a few swift, strong strokes. Yeah. Will bring you to sleep. He got his eye on you. I know what I'm talking to today. He has his eye on you. You can keep him alive when you be aware of your focus. Yeah. And the text says he will either deliver you from death or he'll sustain you in battle. I want to talk about my He's a hero of God will sometimes save you, but sometimes God will allow you to stay in things and sustain you. That sounds like Facebook woman right there. That's what he said, number one, he'll save you, deliver you from death. Yeah, yeah. He'll sustain you, keep you in it. Yeah, yeah. Can I tell you, there's some things yeah. that God yeah. will allow to stay in your life. Okay. Yeah. All right. But he's focused on you. <laughs> Behold, yeah. the high Lord yeah. is on those who fear him. Yeah. Yeah. On those who hope in his steadfast love. Yes. Right. Yes. He's a, he's a, he's a, not full of me, I need to speak to myself. Yeah. 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 He's a not full of you and keep hope alive. Yeah. All right. yeah. You need to be aware of also. Yeah. He's a not full of you and keep hope alive. Yeah. Well, you need to be aware yeah. of your focus here. Right. Can I go ahead and do the last yeah. one? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. He said, you're going to keep hope alive. Yeah. You need to be secure yeah. in your future hope. Uh -huh. Look what it says. Our soul waits for the Lord. Yeah. He is our help and our shield. Uh -huh. Our heart is, what was the text? Yeah. Is glad in him yeah. because we trust in his holy name. Yeah. Let our steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. Yeah. 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 I know God eyes upon me. He's my focus here. Yeah. And sometimes it seems like he's not doing anything. Here's what I'd encourage you to do. Wait. Yeah. 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 I wish I had something else to tell you. <laughs> I wish I had something deep and theological and profound. <laughs> I came to tell you. Wait. He's your help. He's your shield. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Wait. I know you, and it's hard to do. 
Yeah. We don't like to wait through this. Microwave. Yeah, the microwave mentality. <laughs> We like everything now. Yeah. Yeah. Some restaurants you don't go to because they have to put you on a waiting list. <laughs> right. We don't like to wait. Yeah. Well, when you go to the doctor, <laughs> they put you in a waiting room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't like to wait. Do we? <laughs> you ever wait on somebody? <laughs> Especially our car, our car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You waiting on you call him, where are you? Huh. I'm riding around the car. Yeah. <laughs> An hour later. <laughs> yeah. 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 We don't like to wait. Yeah. I want to thank you for giving my uh, my cousin's house, and my uncle was responsible for bringing the turkey and the brisket and the meat. How about we won't start at 2.30? <laughs> I wait till 4 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I wait till 4 I drove from Arlington to Cleveland, Texas. Yeah, yeah. My uncle lives two miles away. All right. And I wait. <laughs> I don't like to wait. <laughs> But oftentimes, God puts us in the waiting room. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes God has to let us wait on you. Know. Yes. That's word. That's word. All right. Let's the other day. And we were waiting. We got, we got at the table sitting there for a little while. And then the person said, I'm so-and-so, so-and-so, I'm going to be your waiting for this. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to say to him, I said, how you, you going to be my waiter when I'm the one that's waiting? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> God puts us in the waiting room. How can I wait? Yeah. It's because, watch this little boy. I got security in here. Yeah. Yeah. He is our help yeah. and our shield. All right. All right. You know, the older you get, the call you the more you start thinking about social security. Still be in the conversations with some of the senior saints. We talk about social security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much are we gonna get? Uh, when I turned 54, I started looking up how much I'm gonna get yeah, yeah, yeah. from Social Security. All right. That's a future hope. Yes. Uh, and I'm waiting on it. All right. Can I suggest something to you? Come on, man. God has something better. Come on. All right. Because somebody say Social Security may not even be there when you retire. Uh, yeah. They may not have this waiting on you. But I came to tell you, God's package. Mm -hmm. yes, uh -huh. It ain't going to run out. <laughs> he's your help. And he's your shield. Yes. So I want you to, I want you to keep hope alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I just go ahead and remind you of what Jesse Jackson said? Yeah. And I want to encourage you how you can keep hope alive. Because what I want you to do, I want you to hold your head high. I want you to stick your chest out. Yeah. Yeah. Say, John, I want you to realize you can make it. I know it gets dark sometimes. All right. All right. In, individually in your life. But you can make it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know you're suffering right now, individually and collectively. Yes, All right. But can I tell you, suffering breeds yes, character breeds faith. Yes, sir. And in the end, faith mm -hmm. will not disappoint. Yes, All right. All right. Can I tell you, you can hold on yes, to his unchanging hand. Yes, you can hold out. Yes, you must never surrender. Yes, can I go ahead and close out? Yeah. 
what Jesse Jackson said. He said, keep hope alive. Can I talk to somebody? Whose hope is decayed. Decay. Keep hope alive. Can I talk to somebody? Whose hope seems to be destroyed. Keep hope alive. And in those times when you're waiting on I want you to lean on him. You remember the song, What a Fellowship? Yes, sir. What a joy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lean on him. On the everlasting Yes, sir. I'd encourage you today that no matter how bad things happen, you can keep on the line. Yes, sir. Beware of false hope. Be aware of your focus here. But also want you to be secure in your future hope. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you can keep hope alive. The door of the church is open.